Good morning everybody, it's Graham once again from Unearthed and a very special episode of Detecting Talk of the likes that we'll probably never see again. Um, I'm pretty sure sat here today that I'll never discuss a particular find of this magnitude and importance. Absolutely guarantee it. Unless something really special happens, uh, a miracle, uh, I can't see me sat here talking to you wonderful people about a particular discovery that's been made by a friend of mine and a customer of ours at Unearthed um, and he made the find fairly, fairly recently last um, few months and I think it's right only right that we uh, the metal detecting world gets the chance and the opportunity to hear the story behind the find now I will say at this particular point there'll be no names mentioned, no areas of the find uh, where it was made etc etc and the reason is we've got to be careful because this particular find is of uh, national, possibly international, in fact I'm going to take these glasses off, um, national international importance, it's that amazing, uh, amazing, it's just an amazing, amazing discovery. Now then We've also got to be careful because the coin, uh, although I've recorded on the gentleman's behalf with the Fitzwilly Museum, so there's a first clue, we've still got to go down the process of making sure that the coin is identified and examined uh, in the correct manner. So it's a coin, uh, it's not an artifact, this is a coin, um, and then who knows what will happen after that? Um, it'll probably it'll probably just n press national press. It's that it's that important of a discovery. Now then, the story behind it is the gentleman in question who who found the the coin um, just decided to go out and detect it one well, just one day. Decided he he fancied his chances on a, a particular permission that he's got. Um, near to where he lives and decided to go and visit the farmer and the farmer pointed out that he had a particular small uh, field for him to detect which wasn't pretty to look at by all accounts um, and I think he'd been in it before with his detector and found a few little bits and pieces nothing of interest really maybe a few Roman bronze grotty coins and I think possibly reading between the lines that this particular field was the only one that was available to detect at the time so he thought he'd take his chance and have a go like just like everybody else does in the detecting world and of course we've got to remember this is a good luck story in the detecting world we need good luck stories so this is why i'm sharing it with the detecting community today is because we need good luck stories like this this puts detectorists and the job that we do in a really good light and um, so so the story goes on so he decided to give it a go and found a few bits of lead and shotgun shells and everything else that we all find um, and then he came across a signal around about seven or eight inches down uh, decided to dig down and investigate the target and he got a glimpse of something in the hole which looked very much like it was a gold uh, a gold button so he lifted out of the hole carefully and looked at it in the hand and thought not another pesky gold gilded button that was his words Although something else, um, you know, stood out for him when he held the the uh, find was the weight. Uh, I don't think that is going to be a gold button. So he examined it closer, removed the mud from around his hand and the object, and found it was gold. Now uh, he knew it was gold, and then decided to uh, broaden his mind a little bit further and decided on it being a gold coin. Right, that's as much as we knew, as much as we, he knew at that point, and he packed up detecting for the day, told the farmer he's found something gold that which looks like a coin, something he's never seen before, and he'll do further investigation when he gets home. So he did, he got home and uh, examined the coin, uh, and decided on, he could read some of the legend around it. Now then, this is where it gets really interesting, and this is, like I said, this is a find of national, if not international, importance. Uh, when he told me about it, we had long discussions, not just a discussion, 
hours and hours of discussion over the phone about this. And that night when he told me and we did um, some investigative work behind the scenes on what it could be, and we did find out in the end, uh, I actually lost sleep over it. I was that excited. So if I lost sleep over it and I didn't find it, but I lost sleep over it because of the excitement of it being a wonderful, unbelievable, one-off, unique discovery. Imagine how he must have felt. So, he rang me up. We did some discussions over the phone and um, it came up as pretty much nailed down as a Saxon, a Saxon gold coin. Now, uh, we also nailed it down uh, and the gentleman in question nailed it down quicker than I did, actually because obviously he's got a hold of it and he can look at it and he can examine it better, um, that it was a gold Saxon coin of King Egbert, the Saxon or the, the King of Wessex at the time. Now, now Egbert was a, was, was spelt. I'm just going to look, I'm just looking at my notes actually, because I've put some notes to the, to the, to the side of me here. So I can give better information rather than trying to remember it and get it wrong. So Egbert is spelt, E E C G. So it's Egbert, if you will. And he he raw, uh, ruled the the kingdom of Wessex in uh, from eight hundred and two. Am I right? Eight hundred and two A D to eight three nine. Let me have a look. Eight three nine. Then he died. So he ruled it up until the point he died. And he was a fairly uh, well, uh, the kings of Wessex were the kings of Wessex. You know, this is an ancient period, isn't it? A very exciting period. Uh, a lot going on, the forging of history uh, on English soil. You know, this is, this is uh, you know, a one-off discovery. King Egbert, I mean, if you found a silver penny of King Egbert, then you're in dreamland. Well, this gentleman's going to found a gold coin of King Egbert. Now then, you may ask yourself, why well, it's found a gold coin of King Egbert, that's amazing, but what's the significance in it? Well, guys, I'll tell you. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm just going just gonna to pause there for a second. Now, I said guys. Now, guys, when I say guys, it means a collective group, female, male, it means everybody, collective. I did get pulled up, actually, by an individual saying guys. Uh, a, a lady took offence to me saying guys. I'm sorry, but I'm going to continue to say guys because I mean everybody. It's a collective. It's not just saying men. It's everybody. Okay. So I thought I'd just get that point over with because I do say guys quite a lot. What is the significance of this gold coin of King Egbert? Well, the significance is that it's unique. You didn't make gold coins of King Egbert. So this shines a new light on history, coin history, Saxon coin history. For, for 1,200 years, nobody ever knew there was a gold coin of King Egbert out there, 803 AD, and one's turned up. Now, there is a counterpart for this coin, which is struck in silver, which is a quite a crude-looking thing, um, and it's struck in silver only, and then all of a sudden, this gentleman who bought a detector off me a few months earlier, a few months ago, goes out and finds a gold coin. Now the coin itself is actually classed as a mancus, a gold mancus. So it's not a gold penny or anything like that. It's classed as gold mancus. So they're extremely rare. There has been other kings discovered gold mancus coins, but this is the very first King Egbert gold mancus coin from the Kingdom of Wessex. Now I have got some images to share with you guys on this. And this is first ever. You guys are going to be the first people to see it in the world. I was hesitant to do it because obviously this coin is of, of national importance and, and it's extremely valuable and extremely rare because it's unique. Uh, but I think, it, uh, and, and I've discussed it with the finder, the guy who found the coin, and he's, he's pretty much wanting me to share it with the detecting world as a good luck story. So we're doing the right thing because we're not, breaching any rules because the coin's going through the process of being recorded anyway we're not doing any harm there's no names of the area it was found no names of the finder no names of anything other than the discovery itself and i think i've been sitting on this for weeks now thinking god i can't do it you know do a tell do a not tell do i mention it do i not mention it and i think after speaking to him the finder again uh, last week and he's badgering me to get it out there and and, and put it onto 
this YouTube channel. Why not? What are we doing wrong? Nothing. It's just it's a detecting find that we can all share the wonder of it and the amazement of this particular coin. I've never seen anything like it. This is the coin of all coins in my book. As wonderful as gold Hamadar, as wonderful as gold, as gold Celtic status are and gold Aurus and gold Solidus and this is the king of coins. The king of coins. I did share the information with a coin friend of mine who's a bit of a coin expert, so I class him as a coin expert. He'd probably be slightly embarrassed to know that, but he is pretty much up there with the, in the coin world as being one of the, the top guys, I think, in the UK. And he just came back and he was blown away by, by the information. Now, he did give me better information and asked if he could weigh the coin. It should be around about 4.2 grams, which it came in at 4.2 grams. So it's a real deal. This coin is the real deal. Now then, I'm going to show you. I printed out some images. I'm going to show you two, the obverse and the reverse of the coin. We'll start by this one first. Here we go. This is the first ever glimpse that you will see, world will see of this particular unique, extremely valuable rare coin. Look at that. Shall I hide my face while you just digest it? Isn't that absolutely amazing? The other thing to, to, to mention is that is the size of about a two pence piece, a modern two pence piece. So it's a fair size, bigger than, I guess, bigger than the hammered pennies and another coinage. Um, and the money, as you can see, the known money. Boza, B O S A. It says Boza, Z that looks like, but it's Boza. That's the money here. Yeah, so beep, boop, boop, boop. How about that? What do you see the backside of it? I mean, it's just an incredible, I mean, just an incredible discovery. I mean, look at that. Now, seeing that come up, you'd know you'd, you'd hit something rather special. But for it to be a unique one, unknown. The world didn't even know these coins existed. Look at that. I'm blown away. Use detectorists out there that know your stuff. We'll be pretty much blown away by that. The newbies to the game, the new might not... The penny might not drop in the magnitude of the rareness and the desirability of this particular coin and the historical, just the historical amazement of this particular coin. It might not, but you guys out there that know your stuff will be drooling over that because you've never seen one. I've never seen one. The world's never seen one. You know what makes it sweet, eh? Found it with the detector. We sold him. I'm just blown away by it. I'm, I, this is the beauty of this hobby. I love detecting news guys and all of it. It's a passion. It's an obsession. But I get just as much of a buzz out of seeing things like that that our friends and customers find than I do finding it myself. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to have found it. But imagine, I don't think I would have slept. Don't think I would have slept. Even now, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks after they found it, I don't think I would have slept. Shall we show you one more time? <coughs> Look at that beauty. Now, of course, this is, you know, this is going to hit the headline, you know, headlines at some point. This is going to also going to be right up there with the coin discovery of the of the decade, of the generation, or whatever we're going to call it. Um, and there'll be all sorts of, you know, British Museum, Fitzwilliam Museum people, coin experts, uh, rewrite history up in the books. I guess it'll be in the speak books at some point as being... The first gold Mancus coin of, of King Egbert, um, you know, the magnitude of it is just amazing. And I think we did the right thing showing it on this YouTube channel. I do, honestly, I really do. I think it's a good luck story. Um, you know, we're all detectorists. We all like to see nice finds. And I think we did the right thing by showing it. Absolutely did. It's a good luck story. We didn't give any of the game away. But it's got to go at some point. This is going to be 
you know, looked at because it's executed much better than the silver hammered coins of that period. So whoever did it, the 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 the, the money, well, we know who it was. It was Borza. So Borza really did go to town on them coin dies to make that as crystal clear and as executed as it is. That's the right word. You know, it really does stand out. So you might be thinking, God, I didn't think there was anything out there like that still to be discovered. Believe me, there's all sorts out there to be discovered. You've got to get out there to do it. This is my problem. If I was a nomad and just a bit of a travelly type in a camper van, no worries, no pressures, no business, no animals to look after, just detected 24-7, wouldn't it be wonderful to just travel around getting permission off like-minded landowners to let you on and see if you could bring these discoveries to light and just spend a lifetime searching for such discoveries. What are your chances of finding stuff like that? Don't think I'd find one of them. I find some nice stuff, but I don't think I'd find one of them. It was just a one-off. He decided to go detecting that particular day. Nobody else detects in that area. Small field, nondescript field. Didn't look anything special. And that thing comes up. So, give me some feedback on this awesome discovery. I mean, I know you guys are going to love seeing that. I know, I just know it. I know it. You're going to love seeing this coin. You're going to be doing cartwheels over it. It's a good luck story. Right. Okay. Give us some feedback. What do you think? Many thanks for watching. Bye for now.